On today's episode of Selling Stories, Jake and Philip introduce themselves and discuss how they are involved in the real estate industry. They also discuss the purpose of the podcast and provide insight on what the future of the podcast will look like. Thank you for joining us on today's episode of Selling Stories. So, how long have you been in photography? Uh, I've been doing just general photography for about four years. Okay. And then I started real estate photography about a, mm, six months ago. That's six months yeah. ago. You like Not it better? I do. Yeah. It's fun. It, well, and it's interesting because, you know, you've been in one house, you've been in them all. That's not the case. Yep. I mean, they're all different. Yep. Um, and same with like neighborhoods that we're like we're in right now. This house is totally different from your neighbor's house. Yep. And then if you add someone's decorating technique, it's fun. It is. A it, you get to see all kinds of different stuff. You do. I, I love. That's one thing about um, opening doors. I absolutely love it because I never know. Yeah, I know what the house looks like. I've seen pictures. But when you step in, you don't know what it's really like. Yeah. So photography is fun. And then I guess it's easier because you don't have to get eight personalities together for That's one true. picture. That is true. That would be a nightmare. Yeah, it is a nightmare. Yeah. But this is fun. Yeah. You know, I, I, I like it. It's, um, especially since I want to be a real estate agent. Yeah. It's kind of um, just kind of an intro into, you know, that little world. Well, yeah. not a little world. It's a big world. It's a big world <laughs> that is but, crazy and chaotic yep. and fun. And I don't know why we do it, but yep. we do it. And I have insight to that now. Yeah, you have insight. Yeah. See how you would be surprised crazy though. It is. It's, it, it's crazy, <laughs> but you'd be surprised how many real estate agents were formerly photographers. Um, and I, I mean, I can, a lot of real estate agent, real estate agents are photographers. Yeah. They are, yeah. I don't take my own photos. Yeah. I'm not a photographer. I hire I have a team for that. That's what I tell people. Yep. I have a team for that. Yep. Um I'm not going to be taking pictures of your house. I just <laughs> not and I'm not bashing anyone who does. Yeah. Do it. The lady that sent me in my house is one of the greatest agents ever and she takes her own pictures and it works for her. Yeah. But for me, that's just can't uh, do it. somebody told me today. I was at a listing today and they asked me how I got into real estate photography photography and I told them and they're like, "Oh, well that's great. When you become a real estate agent, you can take your own pictures." I'm like, Mm-mm. Yeah, no. "Nope." Not doing it. No. There, I will. I mean, I enjoy it now, but when the time comes, you just I'm out. You have certain things that you want to do, and I can go out and get a buyer for my listing. Why I hire someone to take my pictures? Yeah, and and, and you, you kind of right. look at it and see what is your time worth it. Yeah, it's like weeding the flower beds. I pay thirty dollars a week mm-hmm. for my flower beds to be, no twenty dollars. Excuse me, twenty dollars a week for my flower beds to be weeded. Yeah, that twenty bucks I can go out and make two hundred. Yeah. There you go. And that 15, 20 that works. minutes. And I'm, I mean, yep. that guy. A lot of people tell me, they're like, well, it's kind of the same thing because you have to meet the photographer and, you know, it's the same amount of time, but it's not. Because while nice the photographer is doing the work, you can, you know. Yeah. Well, go, I'm talking to clients. Exactly. Speaking of clients, I got a client calling me. <laughs> so, but you're good. So, back to photography. Yes. What you're doing. So, you've been doing it for about six months for residential. Yep. What made you want to do photography, period? You've been doing it for four years. Uh, my mom was a photographer until okay. she quit, like maybe when I was 10, I guess you could say, uh, maybe a little bit younger. But um, growing up, you know, my mom always had people over at the house. She would take pictures. And then um, I don't really remember like why I was like, I'm going to try it one day. Yeah. But I guess that's really just what, what it was, was my mom's done it forever. I've been around it. and I. Just, my, wa- my wife tried photography. Yeah. And she's done very well with it. Mm-hmm. She just didn't stick with it. Yeah, she don't call me out for that. <laughs> just with That's it. funny. But she done very good. But she does. Um, she you have to have an eye. Oh yeah, for photography because oh, yeah. some people say, "Oh, I can take your picture." No, they no. can't. My they uncle, can't. my uncle, he can't take a picture with a an iPhone. Like it's terrible. He makes them blurry somehow with an iPhone. I don't know. <laughs> They're all blurry. It's it's That's funny. But no, it you have that, and it's it's um, it's insane. Yep, it is. Tell me about you. I want to know who you are. Who I am? Yeah. Well, um, I'm a local realtor mm-hmm. with the uh, Grisham Group Real Estate, a local brokerage here in Decatur. Yep. Um, who just bought the old fire station. We did, yeah. Which so is awesome. Chase Grisham bought the old fire station yep. for us. So that's super exciting. March yep. 15th. It's getting close. March <laughs> 15th. Uh, we'll be in it. So it's exciting. Yep. And um, we're going to open. Now, we'll open being there 
with business, but um, we're going to open the first like event. Cause, you know, we're big on events. We do oh, events yeah. all the time. Uh, but the first event is a steak dinner for oh, all cool. the firefighters that cool. served in that building, that's, that's even if they're retired to yeah. current active. I like that. Um, so I'm very excited about that. Yeah, that'll and then be fun. our goal is to host a yearly firefighter fundraiser at the station that's cool the station. yeah it's hard to call an office because it's been the station we've called yeah, it the station i've noticed that like yeah. you know from social media to talking about it in person it's like i've never called it the grisham group office no, it's, it's the, the station. fire station it's or... the fire station and then chase and you know chase has got a bold vision a big vision yeah um and he's he's a rock and roll uh broker mm -hmm. yep and so he's wanting to open up more in North mm -hmm. Alabama. So I think it's perfect because station two, yeah, station three, awesome. and even if they're not in a fire station, yeah. you kind of call that. And then the home station is all thing. But I, I've told him when he first bought the station, I was like, you know, what would be cool is if every city has owed stations that eventually sell. And yeah. you're like, hey, I'll pay top dollar. Yeah. This is going to be our, That'd our be cool. real estate office. That would I tell him I'm cool. looking for a owed, <laughs> an owed, um, like Ghostbusters car on oh, rapid uh, real estate, <laughs> park it in the front. Yeah. When you have a listing, yeah. the siren goes off. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. funny. But no, I've been uh, so I've been with them. Uh, been with the Grisham Group uh, over two years. Yep. Um, we uh, formed that, and then this year I just uh, launched my own team called the Right Bunch. Mm -hmm. So now I'm a team lead yep. and have agents report to me. But I love it, and I tell people all the time I do not sell houses, I sell homes mm -hmm. because homes is where families are. I like that. And that's what I do. Yep. So, and I go all over and I do residential commercial investments. Mm -hmm. I do it all. I do everything you could think of in real estate. Yep. Anything yeah. that sits on a piece of land, you'll sell it. I'll sell it. <laughs> you know, it could just be land. Hey, you could probably sell a trash can if it was just sitting on a I plot could. of land. I probably could. That'd be cool. Yeah. No, um, <laughs> this trash can. Yeah. Stainless steel. Yeah. Lid has a chain. You won't lose it. <laughs> Um, no, it could be a sled during the winter. Yeah, you, you could convert it to all kinds of you different can. things. No, it could be an uh, instrument. Yeah. Some things. No, so I, um, I'm a born salesman. I, um, was in corporate management before this of, uh, 12 years with a nation, national brand and was the, and I'm not bragging. I'm just, it's my, my life story. Yeah. Uh, I was the number one out of 15 stores for five rows, five years in a row. Yep. Um, until I left. Mm-hmm. And, um, so and you've I, carried all that with you into real estate too. I have. I'm, I'm very blessed. Yep. I, uh, I've been a, a, a great producing agent for mm -hmm. the Christian group and I'm proud of that. Um, and I'm hoping that uh, my team will be a rock star team. I, they got great agents. I know they will. Yeah. So, um, but I, I'm a born salesman. I can, I, that it can be leery when people say, oh, he's a salesman, but that's what you want. Mm -hmm. Um, but I also want to protect your interests and I'll never forget. I was, um, Tested on that, so I had some clients that found me on Zillow, mm -hmm. which I hate Zillow, and I'll tell yeah, you why in another podcast. But I hate Zillow. <laughs> um, but they had me show them a house in the Dunbarton subdivision, and I opened the door, showed it to them, and they're like, "Oh, we love it. Uh, I don't know if we can afford it. Can you run the numbers?" And ran the numbers in the kitchen, and they're like, "We just can't afford it." And I'm like, "Well, that's not a problem. Yeah. You know, there's one that's two streets over. Let's go look at it." Yeah. Twenty thousand dollars cheaper. Yeah. So we get in there and they, oh my god, we love it. Let's put an offer in. I ran the numbers. We put the offer in. They called me two hours later, and said that you were the third real estate agent that we have talked to, uh -huh. and we didn't want that first house. We were just going to see if you were going to try to sell us, yep. or didn't care what our budget was and put us in a house that was in our budget. And I'm like, well, at the end of the day. I'm not hiding in Walmart mm -hmm. or Target when I see you thinking, oh, my God, they're going to yeah. kill me because I made them house poor or I sold them junk. Yeah. Um, so I am. And you tell, you've told me before that you'll sell, you know, you'll sell a house if it's twenty thousand dollars. Yeah. Versus, you know, a million dollars. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, because you'll sell it all. I'll sell it all. And the thing that gets me is I'm here to serve the public mm -hmm. and to protect the public. It's my neighbors. Yeah. Everyone deserves a home. No matter what race, what zip code you live in, yep. you deserve to buy or sell a home. I agree. Um, and so the person who just bought that $50,000 home that you would never want to put yourself in, yeah. um, they've saved up the, a lifetime savings. Mm -hmm. They may be the first home buyer for generations. Yep. Yep. Um, and so you never judge or put yourself into that thing. Nope. And so, and, and it irks me because you have a lot of, I've seen agents yeah, let me see if I can get a, a showing scheduled. They'll put the person on hold and they'll add up the commission. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know what I get paid. I got um, yeah. in trouble. <laughs> my transaction coordinator was putting in, um, I, I sent my paperwork to him, and he says, hey, you missed your commission. I'm like, oh, I didn't look at it. Let me yeah. go look at it. He goes, you didn't ask what your commission was? And uh -huh. he goes, he could have changed it. Yeah. He goes, not everyone's honest. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, if he can sleep at night. Yeah. I mean, I got the woman at home. Yeah. And it was in a different. And that's what it's all about. Yeah, it was in a different MLS system, so I just couldn't access uh -huh. it like, like I do the normal. Yeah. Um, but the individuals didn't ain't going to change the one that I worked with. But mm -hmm. he was my uh, transaction coordinator was right. They could have went in and changed it, and then, yeah, or said, "Hey, you don't have access to this. I was just tell him it's two percent." Uh huh. But if he could sleep like that, sleep. I got yeah. someone at home at the end of the day. She was happy. I was happy. I and did you my enjoyed job. The process. I enjoyed the process. Yep. Um, and so you have to find someone who enjoys the process, and you got to find. And I think that's in any walk of life. Oh, you got to yeah. enjoy the process because yep. if you're married, no matter job, what you're doing, I mean, it's what eight o'clock at night, and I'm not at home. Yeah. So if you don't like what you're doing, yep. you you got to figure it out because you marry your job. Yep. You do. I agree. It is. But that's how I got into real estate. Um, it's not how I got into real estate, but I'm a real estate agent. Yeah. It's a fun story. Yeah. I love hearing it. I, I love it. It's fun. Yeah. And we got to have, um, it's relationships. Oh, that's yeah. the biggest thing is relationships because oh, yeah. we uh, constantly, it's like. I remember the first time, like when, this was probably about, about a year ago, and I was asking around to real estate agents, you know, what do I need to do as a, at that time I was, well, I was still 17. So as a 17 year old, what do I need to do? to get my foot in the game. Mm -hmm. And Chase specifically, Chase Grisham told me, he said, build relationships like with everyone in the city, you mm -hmm. know, go to events, go to Mardi Gras, yeah. go to all these places and build relationships. Cause that's, that's the main thing, you know, of it, your profession. It is. It's it the is. main thing. It's relationships yeah. at the end of the day. Uh, it's who you know. And it's, I tell my agents on my team, it's something that I've always have said. It's not your job mm -hmm. to remember what I do for a living. Yep. It's my job to remind you. So to all my friends who get tired of me posting yeah. real estate or saying I'm a realtor, I'm sorry, but I have to remind people. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have to follow up with people. There was a girl that I was highly recommended to, and I, I sent her probably 20 houses, and um, they just never would fit her. Um and Christmas came. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Christmas came, and we, um, I got busy. Yeah. And second week of January, just two weeks, I sent her another listing, and she's like, "Oh, I'm about to close on a house." And I went, "Oh, <laughs> well, I can't be mad at you because I didn't follow up yeah. for two weeks." Yep. And so right there's a plain example. <laughs> follow up. But a lot of people in that situation, they would be. You know, completely livid. livid. Yeah, they'd be livid. Yeah, um, upset. And I don't. And I should. There's a form that you're supposed to sign as a buyer uh -huh. agency agreement. Not my buyer sign them. Um, but I'm not gonna make you sign one up front. And be like, yeah, I want to show you this house. Yeah, but you're gonna sign this first. You're yeah. gonna sign. I'm gonna recad you. And let you know I'm a realtor. <laughs> yeah. Um, but that's it. Yeah. Yep. No. It's but it, it's who you know, and that's why I do a lot of community involvement and i'm always out there trying to raise money or raise awareness for different things because while you're doing it for a good cause mm -hmm. people know who you are and yeah. you're going to get listings and yeah. buyers and stuff like that yep. and that's the same way with photography yeah it is because you still do family portraits and oh stuff yeah like that too yeah yeah so it's it's who you know it is because i mean well there ain't no sears anymore i don't know if you're the, oh, no, to remember, I was the JC Penney's or sears yep. to get the picture yep. those were horrible yeah i okay so <laughs> that I've was got, a minute ago it was a minute yeah. ago, yeah. <laughs> so I believe there's still like a JC Penney's that does them, because uh, people has them done for for like pranks and stuff, mm -hmm. which is hilarious. But um, I uh, went to a real estate convention in Vegas in October, and um, I'm all about. I love. Um, I guess they're called work. Maybe it is a workshop. Where there's a bunch of people together. Yeah, I guess so. In, in booths and stuff. Yeah. I don't workshop. Know if it's workshop or not. Uh, expo. Expo. I like that. Yeah, expo. Big word. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> um, but I love things like that. So I looked over in the corner, and it was free headshots. And I'm like, well, I've got some amazing ph photographers to take my pictures. Yeah. Um, but I'm like, it's free. Yeah. Why not? Let's try it. Oh, my gosh. I've got like six. Uh -huh. And I want to post them one day and put, when they say it's free, well, yep. this is why. Yep. 
It is horrible. Yeah. I look like a lunatic. Yeah. Like, it's, I guess that my photographers adjust my eyeballs or uh-huh. something because they're like really big. and like, Well, they probably did they give the pictures to you like right then? Yeah. They, you know, so there directly. wasn't even any editing. Yeah. Well, I hope to. I go in and I fix your, fix your wrinkles and fix your. Wait a minute. I have eyeballs. wrinkles. Thanks a lot. Okay. So you're <laughs> hey, fired. Reality check. <laughs> yeah. Reality check. Yeah. I tell Vicky all the time, like, I got crow's feet. I need, <laughs> I need Dr. Ben Light. I need to get him. Oh, goodness. Yeah. So no. Um, but oh my God. I'm like, that's a great post because I'm one of them that's real and upfront yeah. and honest. I like things black and white. Yep. Um, so I'm going to post that one. I'm like, this is why they're free. Yeah. Or, this That's is why you, this is why you don't list by yourself or sell by owner because you'll look like this. Yep. <laughs> so I I'm adding I'm constantly adding new things to new services. Yeah. To my uh, brand, um, and a new one is I want to do. Now I know this sounds cocky. Um, we're the only profession where our um, because it's not competitive enough according to the uh, <laughs> government that we have to share our uh, pay. Uh, our commissions yeah um and so when you and i know i use when you go to the doctor you go to the mechanic you don't ask them to take a discount no when they're doing stuff yeah um and so we're a professional service yeah. to take the stress off because mm-hmm. it, it can be crazy when we you also, go to a mechanic or a doctor you don't say hey can you pay for this part no like hey can you pay for the oil and i'll pay for the yeah. labor you don't do that at all no so I, my clients know you're going to get professional photos. You're going to get video. Yep. You're going to get, um, and that's not throwing shade at the people that no, it's you know, not. Do it the other it's way. who they but are. That's just in my opinion, that's the way it works. It's the way it and, works. Yeah. It, well, it, the um, times have changed. It, yeah, let's put it that way too. Times have changed where you have to. Social media is the number one growing platform. TikTok is a, is yeah. the number one uh, visited website. So you're going to have to stay on trend. Yep. And so our our saying is we make your house famous. The more eyes, the more offers. Yep. So we got to get your house in front of all these people. Mm-hmm. So we need to use all the tools that we have out A there. lot of homes nowadays sell virtually. They like, do. You know, like you said, Zillow is a big thing. Yep, it is. And if I see bad pictures... I, I scroll by it. You scroll by it. Yeah. So one of my favorite is, <laughs> I love it when you see people's um, bodies in mirrors. Uh-huh. Like that. I love yeah. that. I like. Yeah. Really? <laughs> uh, yeah. But no, it, it's fun. But um, it. But it, I think it's like that in every profession. You know, you're gonna have someone who's gonna offer a discounted rate. Yep. And you're not gonna get the quality. Mm-hmm. And the sad thing is the people. In. I don't know if, there, if you can find statistics. I imagine you can find statistics of just doing market analysis. But the ones that list, well, okay, so it is market analysis that the ones that list for sale by owner by themselves mm-hmm. are losing 12 to 20%. Yeah. So if, I imagine if we took the realtors that were hired that were pictures by themselves, not doing the professional marketing, yep. not doing the professional brochures, not mm-hmm. doing all the the stuff versus the ones that do, I imagine the offers coming in are. Oh, yeah thousands of dollars different yeah because you're going to reach a whole different it, yeah buyer yeah um it through marketing that's, it's just not throwing a just sign the way, in the yard and putting it on the, the internet you're that's get today's people. market i guess you could say it is and that's just the it way is. that today and works that's why we're losing agents like crazy so yeah. nar uh says that we're gonna lose 30 percent yeah and nar is national association of realtors if you don't know what that is yeah. they said we're gonna lose 30 percent of people yeah of uh, realtors and I can see it. I've mm-hmm. seen people hang their license now. Yeah. I've seen some older ones that are retiring and doing referrals. Mm-hmm. Um, and I want to get there one day. I mean, that's I don't yeah. want to be 70 showing houses. Mm-hmm. If you do, that's then great. That's you. <laughs> but I don't. Yeah. I want to be running to bed and breakfast on the beach. Yeah. That's just that's what me and my wife want to do. Yeah. Um, but no, I don't I don't want to be doing that. But I need to have a team, a plan, and standards. Um, but I, I think um Glenda Baker, I love Glenda Baker. She's a uh, I love her. She is sassy. She is. Yeah, I love. Her. I need to be sassy like her. <laughs> you kind of um, are though. Am I? Yeah, in yeah. a way. In a way, I could. Yeah, I could see that. Some <laughs> people don't like me. I just tell them take a number and get in line. Yep. It's it's okay. Long I still line. sleep at night. I sleep great. Get in even the with long, two kids. Long line. Yeah. The, <laughs> oh, was it long? Okay. Well, mine is. I don't know about yours, but mine is. Mine gets pretty long. I think daily. Yeah. Daily, it just goes. Adds up. It does. So, um, wh- what is your future plans then? Well, 
So you do real estate photography. Yes. Podcast now. Yeah. yeah. And we're we're both we're both professional. Yeah. I mean, this is pretty professional. It is. I mean, hey, I'm impressed. Yeah, like, me too. I feel like I like so. I, um, we're gonna do podcast, and then like at seven o'clock, we're we'll doing SMR. It's fun. Real estate ASMR. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I seriously, I'm sa- dangle a, your keys to the house. Yep. Yeah. Um, oh my but God. anyways, yes. Um, I I didn't mention this, but I'm a senior in high school, okay. which some people, um, some people don't know. A lot of people don't. A lot of people don't know. They they think I'm a lot older, but I'm a senior in high school. I graduate in May and plan to go to the University of Alabama. To study business and real estate. Okay. And why Alabama? That, uh, are you an Alabama fan? I'm not any fan. Not any fan. I don't like football. I don't like sports. I don't care who wins. My mom is Mississippi State fan. Yeah, no, I seen the cowbell. Yeah, my dad went to UAH. That's hilarious. I, I love the more I get older. I love football. Yeah. So I played. I was homeschooled. Mm-hmm. So I played street football. And was asked to play for Oak Park uh, and Decatur Raiders, um, even though being homeschooled, because I was I was three fifty plus as yeah. a kid, and I was you know. <laughs> uh, they yeah. wanted you, they wanted me, but I never did play. Um, I didn't care to, and then in my twenties, I could care less yeah. about football. I was the I was the oddball. Yeah, um, and now I can actually sit down and enjoy a game of football. I like I basketball better. Yeah. I love. Have you been to a basketball game? I love the yeah. sneakers. Like, <laughs> yeah. I love that. Yeah. Um, and I'm from Indiana. So Indiana, the Indiana Pacers mm-hmm. and NASCAR. And I don't know why I like NASCAR because all they do is, oh, it's another left turn. Yep. That's all they do. I can see that. Obviously, they just turn left. That's all they do. But I don't even think those anyways, cars can go right. Yeah. It's just a they left turn. Can't. Um, but it's, um, I don't know why I think those are fascinating to, and I can watch them, but I cannot go to the games. I cannot scream. Yeah. Longer. So when we moved, uh, <laughs> To the north, uh, south. Who are you for? I'm like, who am I for? Yeah, what right. Do you mean? Yeah, yeah. So I'm more of a political nut myself. Mm-hmm. I know they do politics, which is probably nastier than sports. Yeah, just a little bit. Um, but I I enjoy it's that. But I know thing. that you don't say you're Republican or Democrat, and you don't say you're an Auburn fan or an Alabama fan. Are you just? Yep. It's that's just the way the South is. Though. It is. It's, it's, it's funny. We kind of signed up for it. We did. Well, I didn't. Well. You signed up for it, but I was kind of forced to Alabama. Yeah, I I was born in Indiana, which that's right. We're yeah. Hoosers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Indiana, we grow corn for America. Yep, that's why we're no longer there because it's <laughs> cornfields, beautiful sceneries, cold winters. Yeah, a lot I miss of corn. I miss it just a little bit. I I, I would say that, but I don't, you don't remember. remember. No, it's I okay. spent three days there of my life. It's a long time. At that age. At that age is a very <laughs> long time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's funny. Anyway, so this is selling stories. This is selling stories. And selling. we are going through a real estate journey. Yeah. No, I think I think it's going to be fun. So for, I mean, the point of the podcast is to let people know about us, but yep. also to let them know about real estate, the do's and don'ts. You know, and- before I started real estate photography, um, you could ask me, the most simple question about real estate, I wouldn't be able to answer it. Because, yeah. I mean, and I think a lot of people are like that. A lot of people. Yeah. So, so this is the thing. There's people who have bought and sold multiple houses mm-hmm. that still does not know what a real estate yep. agent does or the difference between a realtor yep. and a real estate agent. I agree. Or negotiations. Yep. They, they don't get it. Yep. Um, and it, Today, I was talking to my mom about real estate. And I don't know how it came up, but... I was talking about how busy you are specifically. She was like, how is he that busy? And what, like as a real estate agent. And I told her, I was like, I told her all the things, you know, that realtors do. And she was like, Oh, I didn't know that they did all that. Yeah. So we schedule, we put out fires. We, yeah. And then yeah. And Mark Moody says it best. Um, and he's a, he owns a brokerage here in Decatur, North Alabama. He owns a couple of them. Yeah. He's pretty awesome. He is. He's fantastic, but he's like, for you to be a successful agent, you have to do all this stuff Mm -hmm. and keep on top of it. And people don't realize the work we do Mm because my wife used to make the joke, oh, I wish I could stay home. And then like, she'll leave and then come back from her eight hour shift. I'm still doing paperwork and 
running a show and stuff. Yep. And she's like, when are you going to, when are you going to slow down? I'm like, no, and I worked at 2 a.m. the other day. Yeah. And it's, you just have deadlines, how timelines. It is, it is. And you're there to please your client. You yeah. Know, you, and, you know, and that's the thing. If like, it takes doing their paperwork till 2 a.m., that's what it takes. Listen, I've done a listing appointment at 9 p.m. and I, I never mm-hmm. thought, now, I'm going to make sure my safety is uh, is top priority because I've, I've been in some scary oh, situations. Yeah. But that was the time but that those was late nights for my is, client. Yeah. And if you work Monday through Friday, nine to five, and you have an hour commute, mm-hmm. and then you got to eat dinner, yep. when are you going to see a home or sell right. your home? When are you going to do life? Same uh-huh. thing with me. The other day, I had a listing for you, and you needed the yeah. pictures the next day. I was I sent them to you like 1.30 a.m. Yeah, because yeah, I... Stayed up to get that. Stayed up to get it done. That's when you needed it. Yeah, and make sure you had it. And that, that I mean, not every photographer does it. That you're a rock star on that. But no, <laughs> it's it's you have to please the client, yeah. and that's why people don't understand that can be stressful for us. Because I don't take my own pictures. Yeah. So I had to find a photographer uh-huh. on the short notice. I have a guy that takes measurements of house. And what are you? Can't you measure yourself? Yeah, but that's thousands of dollars mm-hmm. if it's off, and I'm paying a professional. Yeah, that's, that's just not uh, to take the measurements. But I have to call him. But hey. I need mm-hmm. you. You live in South Huntsville, but I yeah. need you in Danville. Like now. Yeah. Like and he for, came. 10 minutes ago. I mean, he was fantastic. He drove all the way to Danville. Did I pay a, a out of district fee? Yes, mm-hmm. I did, but I got the measurements. Yep. Um, it, It's crazy. But that's that's one thing you're going to hear about on here is how we put fires out, how mm-hmm. we um, sell homes, how we find clients the homes, how we run away from clients, yep. uh, and how we got into this. Um, and you're not just going to hear from me and you every time no, either. Because no. after a while, I think we can, we well, I can get boring. I don't know about you. No, but I'm not boring. I can get pretty boring. So each, I like Doritos. Doritos never get boring. I don't like Doritos. Well, I guess you don't like me. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Not well, a big fan. This has been great. This is the last episode for yep. Philip Wright on... Philip hates me now. Yeah. Doritos. Doritos. I like the Cool Ranch. I could, those are the ones I can tolerate. Yeah. I don't the like um, cheese. No. Uh-uh. You stain your fingers. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Well, the other ones do too. Well, they don't stain them, but they're they don't, messy. They don't, yeah, they're messy. Yeah. yeah. Anyways. But yeah, you'll hear from other agents. Yep. Maybe photographers. That's true. Maybe lenders. More. Lenders. Anybody. Yeah. Anybody that has anything to do with real estate. Real estate. Come on. You might have a hear from a home buyer. That's true. That would be that fun. That would be fun. Get a client hey, that's here. that's a good idea. Get an investor. I have yeah. I have a lady that I sell multiple homes to. She'll be in here talking smack about me. Let me tell uh-huh. you about him. <laughs> She's not invited. <laughs> we don't want to hear that. No, no. Not that part. The good, bad, and the ugly. That would have been a good name. The good, the bad, and the ugly yeah. of real estate. That would be interesting. I'm trying to pick our name for a podcast was difficult. It was difficult. So many everyone taken, does. Yes. Like, you have to have one that nobody uses. Nobody uses. And, and then, I bet that the good, bad, and the ugly was used. I bet it was. That's, yeah. I'm it's surprised that selling stories. It's probably copyright to do. Probably. Yeah. Selling stories, I'm surprised that was not. And I really like selling stories. And I think yeah. that's because that's what we do. We sell and they're stories. Yep. So and we're currently selling you stories. That's right. I don't know how this, I don't know where this, that, that was stupid. I don't know where the selling part came in. They're not, yeah. If you're looking to buy or sell, go to sell with Phil Ryan. But yeah, it's exciting. I'm excited about it. Yeah, I think I it's going to be great. We're yep. going to, we'll learn more about each other. Yep. And then uh, we'll get to know about, and what's great is we're going to be interviewing, talking with more individuals. So we'll get to learn about people in our community. Mm-hmm. And what drives them to Decatur, yep. what drives them to North Alabama. Um, because I feel like for you to have an enjoyable life, you need to enjoy the city you live in. That, and you know, and community. you see a lot of things about like where the top place to move is or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I saw something on Facebook today uh, where Huntsville residents want to move the most. And mm-hmm. Decatur was number one. But you can see that, but that doesn't really sell you on the fact that that is number one. You want to hear it from somebody's. You know, tell, telling you their story of why they moved to Decatur specifically. Yeah. You know, we hearing it firsthand. The first hand, I can tell you about my parents. We moved to Madison when we first moved to Alabama. My parents did too. Uh, see, yeah. yeah. And, the, and the reason why it was convenient to everything. Yep. But my parents did not want to raise a family there. Mm-hmm. They said they wanted something more homely, more filling. Uh, and so when they drove across the river, that's it. This is it. And then Decatur has a river. Yeah. I mean, I was, it was nice. So I was in a convertible Sunday, thanks to my pastor for letting me borrow one uh, for the parade I was in. And I was like driving over the Decatur Bridge. And I was like, it was sunny. It was yeah. like 63 degrees. Uh-huh. And the water, I was like, we live on a river. Yeah. 
It's cool. Like we could go out. Sometimes and I forget just, about that. I, do, I forget about it daily. Like I see the river, but I'm like, oh, it's the river. Yeah. But then it's like, we live right here. We live right here. We yeah. can pontoon. Mm-hmm. We can go out and get a boat. We yep. can fish. We can. And it's a swim. pretty view, actually. It is. It is. A, it, yeah. it is. Now we have a lot of industrial on one part of the river, yeah. and the other part is it's not industrial. But you know, we have a park on the river. Yeah. We have that. We have picnic tables on the river. Mm-hmm. It's, it's they a do a lot of, of weddings on the river too. I never. I think they do. That. Yeah. yeah, but they do. I've seen them. I love that. Yeah. I think it's the Sexton House. Have you seen that? Uh, the, the really river. big one? Yeah. Yes. Right by that hotel? It has an elevator in it. Really? Yeah. Oh. I went there with Chase to hear That's Katie cool. Britt. She done a little fundraiser there. Uh-huh. And they said, we asked for the bathroom was, you go over there and you go to the elevator to the dining floor. And I went, what? <laughs> elevator? Yeah. And I'm like, I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta see this. <laughs> but yeah, that's a beautiful, it's like a bit, it's an entertainment area and I think there's an office in it. Mm-hmm. I don't think no one lives there, but yeah. Yeah, it's pretty neat. It is. But yeah, it's, Decatur is a fun place. It is. It is. It's positively fun. Positively That's Decatur. What they say positively Decatur. Yep. I like that. Me too. So, well, I'm excited. I think uh, yep. the listeners are going to be excited, I and so. who knows? Some of the listeners might be guests. It's true. You so, never know. Never know. We'll hunt you down. We'll yep. find you. Mm-hmm. We will come and find you. And, pick and you we up. may not be in this living room. We may be. Yeah, we may go on tour. Yeah, there we go. That would be cool. That would That'd be. be cool. Maybe Especially one day we'll be in Las Vegas. <laughs> I'll book us tickets. <laughs> I love Vegas. I mean, it's fun. I ain't flying on. Um, I, f- I flew out to Vegas on the breeze. Everyone says that. That was the most comfortable plane ride I've ever Really? Been. I don't know if we just got the wrong seats, uh-huh. but I was, I'm a big fella. That was roomy. Yeah. And uh, we landed there. Me and Vicky got there out of hand like six hours before Chase and Tressa. Mm-hmm. And we just had, we went to New York, New York, got a slice of pizza. That's funny. Roll the roller coaster. Yep. I can, yeah, I can go there <laughs> now. Oh, All right. Well, well I need to go fun. sell a house. Yeah. yeah. I need to go take pictures. Okay. There's a lot of them out there. There, There is. Mm-hmm.